everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artisan Pirate here, and in today's fun scroll saw project, we are kicking off beautiful Christmas designs for the year over here on the channel. And the design I've picked out celebrates the true and very powerful meaning of the Christmas season, and that, of course, is the birth of Jesus Christ. The design in question comes from the latest issue of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing, Winter 2024, issue 97. There you see the cover of it, and the design in question is on page 36. It says, Nativity Segmentation, Reclaim Wood lends a rustic elegance to this inspirational piece by Daniel Wendell, and I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, but here is their interpretation of how the design is going to be, and you can see that it doesn't have a base here, so that means they probably cut it out of three-quarter inch or thicker stock material to where it could easily freestand on a shelf desk or countertop, and you can totally go this route, but I am going to use artist visual interpretation to shrink the project down to make it a nice little desk sitter if you work in a office or have a cubicle or something like that. The full size pattern is located in the magazine and that's one thing I really love about Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts magazine is the full size patterns are always included to where you don't have to do no guesswork on how to make them bigger or how to make them smaller to suit how the magazine interprets them. But here is the full size pattern. I did get a copy of it. And then I sent it over to my printer and I shrank it down. So you can see how small we're going to be making this in today's video. It's not even as big as my palm there. It's around 5 inches by 7 inches. So around the same size of a basic photo you can get printed out. And it has very simple details in it, which I think would lend itself to some first-time scroll saw artists. You know, if you're wanting to try the scroll saw and make something like this. But you do have the powerful imagery. You have the star. You have a couple trees here. The nativity is outlined in a classic Christmas tree. You have the lamb, the donkey, and of course Mary, Joseph, and of course baby Jesus, the true meaning of the Christmas season. And the material we're going to be using today I think is going to play a major factor in how I bring this project to life. A couple weeks ago the local builder center near me put cedar fence pickets on sale and my buddy Sam came and picked me up and we went in his truck and he picked up about 10 or 12 of them for some landscaping purposes and I picked up a couple to try over on the scroll saw. Now the box itself did of course say it was cedar but this does not look like aromatic cedar that I'm used to seeing with that dark red texture. It might be a species of cedar. I'm not very familiar with the wood species and the colors and grain textures and all but I planed one down on the thickness planer and prepped four beautiful crosses by Fox Chapel Publishing to take with me up to the woodworking extravaganza in October and I cut them out and here is one of them finished up and the grain in this once it's ran through the planer is so pretty and I really want to try to bring this project to life because we can get one of these across one of these boards but I also want to share the option that if you can go this route again it's around 3 8 inch in thickness we're going to mill it down to half inch in thickness just to clean it up and smooth it out the way i did with the crosses there but this was just a dollar fifty and that's u.s currency so think of how you could maximize your profits if you are at a craft fair by using a cheap piece of material like this now it is very light there's not a lot of weight to it i mean i can hold it there with two fingers and they are over six foot tall because I am of course six foot two in height but I really think this is a great option and avenue for people to seek and it might also be an option for people who are just getting into scroll saw woodworking and they don't want to go out and buy any of the exotic or expensive hardwoods yet fence pickets like this if you can get them in this thickness to run through a planer would be a great option to try projects on but since I need to run this project through the thickness planer this fence picket that is Let's move the camera and do that now so we can get started. And we're going to begin by running our fence picket through the Craftsman Thickness Planer. I've had this planer for several years now and it is still running strong. And I'm just doing light passes here to smooth everything down. And you totally have the option to leave it rough cut if you would like to, but I did want to smooth it down and expose that beautiful grain. Now I am measuring to cut here with my square for our piece to use over on the scroll saw. And this end piece here that has a damaged bit, I'm going to come back and use that as the base. But we now have our piece for scroll saw work and I'll give it a high grit sanding with Klingspor Woodworking Shop sandpaper and then I'll attach the pattern with clear packing tape lining the base of the nativity scene up on that straight edge 
and I'll drill the one pilot hole and now we are ready to begin and I'll begin with that star which is the single internal cut here and you guys know how I achieve stars I do it in a series of V cuts to make sure all of those points are nice and crisp and now that this cross saw blade is retentioned all of the rest of the cuts will be outside perimeter cuts to release the pieces from the waste wood for all of the scrolling on this project, I'll be using a number 5 Ultra Reverse Tooth Blade and it will cut through the material exceptionally well with minimal chip out. I've cut out the donkey and now I am cutting out the lamb here. And I'm setting everything aside in my small parts bin to make sure I keep track of all the pieces. And now that we've switched up to a close-up view, you can see that I'm cutting out the figures of Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and with these small pieces being miniature in nature I am of course taking my time and letting the blade do the work and being as loyal as I can be to the cut line and I just felt like this would be the appropriate project to kick off Christmas and seasonal videos over here on the channel because it depicts the greatest story ever told for unto us a child was born. We are almost done with the scroll saw work here. It doesn't take long at all to cut everything out. I just have the two little trees to cut out here. And if you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and also follow me across all my social media feeds under the Artisan Pirate name. I'd really appreciate the support. But now all the scroll work is done but we will have to come back to the scroll saw to cut out the base but I'm just removing the patterns from everything here and we're going to take that extra piece we cut and just sketch out a base that I think is visually appealing to the eye just doing a rough sketch here and then we will head back and do the final bit of scroll saw work and this is just one long outside perimeter cut here taking advantage of that fence picket top that was damaged here just cutting around it to make our base but now I'll take the base over and sand it with 180 grit sandpaper in the vibrating palm sander and that is cling spore brand sandpaper and for the rest of the pieces I will use another piece of high grit cling spore sandpaper in my hand sander here and sand all of the pieces very carefully front and back. With the soft nature of the material we have, the pieces are very likely to break, so I am being as careful as I can be to sand everything here. And then like in the magazine, they have a splash of color on some of the pieces, so I got out my dark Minwax wood stain to do that. Again, I just felt like it would be a great visual to have two tones but I am wiping off all of the excess after staining all of the small parts and I'll set them in front of a heater to dry helps accelerate drying time but after they are dry it'll be time to glue everything up with medium grade CA glue and activator and I'm giving this piece a slight 3D effect by gluing the figures here a little proud of the nativity itself and this could potentially make its own standalone scroll saw project with just the nativity here but all of the pieces bring the project together beautifully and with the CA glue you do have to work quickly but I have gotten used to it over the years but after everything is glued in place and I've sprayed it with activator I'll let it dry to make sure the glue has cured for around five minutes and then I'll set it by the door and give it a finish with several coats of Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss. And it really made the grain textures pop and when it dried, the project was complete. And here we have the completed miniature segmented nativity cut out completely from start to finish over on the scroll saw and it finished up amazingly well. 
really beautiful and powerful imagery representing the true and honest meaning of the Christmas season, which of course is the birth of Jesus Christ. And it's all represented and encapsulated in this small miniature design. I want to once again thank Miss Danielle Wendell, again I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly, for the amazing and versatile design from the latest issue of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts Magazine by Fox Chapel Publishing. It took me around 15 minutes to scroll this project out completely from start to finish. It does have the segmentation features with how the piece is assembled and cut out. It only has one interior cut and that is the star at the top of the Christmas tree in the center and then the rest of these cuts are just outside perimeter cut lines where you just of course take your time and let the blade do the work and be as loyal as you can be to the cut line while you are scrolling it out. The most tedious pieces for me to cut out are of course the three figures of Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus there at the center. And you see how we cut that star out nice and crisp in the time lapse portion. I've done a series of V cuts just going around and the star came out nice and crisp. And everything finished up beautifully. I'm really happy with how this finished. I used a dark Minwax wood stain to stain some of the pieces a darker texture. I felt that would be a nice visual as opposed to just leaving everything natural. And then the Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss we added at the end really brought out a nice glossy appearance and really made the grain textures pop and it finished up great. Again, I cut this out of a basic cedar fence picket I picked up with my buddy Sam. He picked up a bunch of them. I picked up two, but I'll probably be going back and getting more because it scrolls so smoothly. It doesn't have that aromatic smell like cedar but it said it was cedar on the box and it might be a species of cedar i just do know it is very light and with the nature of how i shrank this project down if you wanted to batch them out you could potentially get three or four more of these entire projects out of this single cedar fence picket that only cost me a dollar and fifty cents and that's u.s currency and speaking of money People sometimes ask me what I could potentially charge for a project I do over here on the channel if I was doing the craft fair circuit or going to shows like that. And for a project like this, just for reference, I could potentially charge between $20 and $25 and that would be pressing my luck where I live. It's all going to depend on where you live. You could potentially charge more or you could potentially charge less or you could do like I do and just make projects and give them as gifts once you run out of room like I have over on the scroll saw display wall. Of course, this will be properly displayed in the house throughout the Christmas and holiday seasons. But I felt it was a great project to kick off the Christmas season over here on the channel because, again, it celebrates the true and very powerful meaning of what the Christmas season is really about. But I hope you guys like how I used artist visual interpretation to shrink the project down and make it in a miniature nature like this. Again, the one in the magazine I'm going to show you here is way bigger and meant to be cut out of thicker, maybe three eighth inch or one inch thick stock material to where it can freestand without a base as you can see here on a shelf desk or countertop and you can totally go this route and option because the full size patterns are in the pattern pullout section that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video and you could really dress this project up you could put lights around it some Christmas garland some little gifts around it you know those craft gifts you can get at the craft store and really go above and beyond and take this project to the next level again I just used artist visual interpretation to shrink the project down and make a miniature one and I used a scrap piece of that cedar fence picket to add a base to it. So there's always options and always versatility with each and every pattern you come across. Of course I just stained a few pieces here and left the rest natural. You could of course cut the project out of exotic or hardwoods to really make the natural colors and textures shine without having to add any additional paint, stain, or anything like that. So I always encourage people to think outside of the box with the project as well as the patterns like I have done here today. It was meant to be cut out of thicker material. I shrank it down and cut it out of smaller material and thinner material to make this beautiful piece that can sit on a shelf desk or countertop and I think if you would want to cut these out and give them as a gift you would have enough room here in the back where this cavity is to hide maybe a little piece of money or maybe a gift card that way you could give this as a gift to celebrate the true meaning of Christmas but also have a little hidden gift in the back there behind the tree and everything so always an idea just of how to give this as a gift if you wanted to do so but I'm really happy with how it came out once again the design is from the latest issue of scroll saw woodwork 
Market and Crafts Magazine by Fox Travel Publishing, Winter 2024, issue 97. It has the nice penguin on the cover there. And it's really cool that they are closing in on a massive 100 individuals of this creative design for crafters and makers out in their garage and workshops. But I'm really happy with how the project finished up, celebrating, once again, the very true meaning of the Christmas holiday. And I hope in some way, shape, or form you maybe picked up a tip or tidbit along the way when I was prepping the material and getting it ready. Or just by using a basic cedar fence picket I picked up at the big box store relatively cheaply. But really cool. I had a lot of fun in this video and I hope you guys enjoyed following along. If you're new to the channel, hopefully you'll click that subscribe button and also follow me across all my social media feeds under the Artisan Pirate name. As always, links to contact me as well as all my social media feeds will always be linked down in the description box below these videos. That's about all for this one and remember guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care and I'll see you guys real soon.